Yeah, so my name is Richard D'Souza, and I have a PhD in clinical pharmacology. I've been in the industry for, for more than 35 years, worked at Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Bosch & Lam, and I've been with MNeil for about four years. That's mainly connected to demographics. It's a disease that you see more of as people get older, and therefore you're seeing more of it. So Parkinson's disease is a disease where a certain part of the brain is not working. So in that part of the brain that makes dopamine, those dopamine generating neurons don't work. Uh, and therefore you have a deficiency in, in dopamine. So the intuitive answer is if you give dopamine, can you, can you help the disease? And you can, except you cannot give dopamine in a way that goes straight to the brain because it doesn't cross the blood brain barrier. And therefore about 50 years ago, dopamine, uh, uh, sorry, levodopa was invented and it was given with carbidopa to help it so that, so, so that you get less side effects and it lasts a little longer. And that drug was called Cinemate. It's immediate release, carbidopa, levodopa, and I'll call it CDLD. And that works quite well uh, in the initial stages, but as the disease progresses, you have peaks and valleys of blood levels of levodopa. And actually it doesn't work so well after a while because when it's at its peak, you sometimes get too much drug and therefore you have side effects. When, you, when it's at its trough, you get too little drug, and therefore you get the, the effects of Parkinson's disease, which includes tremors and a number of things. Yeah, so IPX203 is designed to address exactly the issue with immediate release carbidopa, levodopa, which is you get peaks and valleys. And IPX203, let me start with the formulation. The formulation is actually quite elegant and quite simple. It has two components. One is an immediate release component so that you get the fast efficacy. It's absorbed fast into the body and you get immediate efficacy. And then a slower component where you want to release levodopa in a very steady fashion, kind of like the body releases levodopa without, without peaks and valleys. And if you can go for a long time, then you control symptoms effectively without getting side effects. So this is designed to be given approximately every eight hours so that it controls symptoms and doesn't give you the side effect of dyskinesia and other side effects. So we started development uh, more than five years ago, and we started with a phase one pharmacokinetic studies to kind of understand how the drug is absorbed in the body and at what rate and how long it lasts. Then we did phase two studies. We did a phase two study versus Ritari, and we showed that it was longer lasting than Ritari in terms of its pharmacokinetic profile, and it was superior to Ritari from a pharmacodynamic point of view. Then we did multiple dose studies to compare uh, IPX203 with IR, and once again, we, sh we showed that it was vastly superior to IR CDLD. We then did pivotal studies, phase three studies, and this was required for approval. One was a uh, efficacy study uh, with about 500 patients. And the other one was a safety study, which is we gave it in an open label fashion to patients for nine months to see what the effect was and what the side effect profile was. So those are the studies that supported the registration. In addition to that, we did three phase three studies to understand things like effect of food, uh, dose proportionality, et cetera. So I believe that IPX203 is unsupproved, will be the best oral CDLD drug on the market. So uh, in terms of the efficacy, we have shown in our phase three studies that it is superior to immediate release carbidopa, levodopa, even when it's only given three times a day and when immediate release is given five times a day. We have shown on a per dose basis that it lasts 1.6 hours longer than every dose of IR. 
And if you look at the numbers, it's, you're talking about 2.2 hours versus 3.7 hours. So it's actually a 70% increase in efficacy, and efficacy is measured as good on. Uh, good, good, good means it causes, it gives you efficacy without the side effects of dyskinesia. So I think there are great benefits for the patient to have a drug that they can take less often and have better efficacy.